What's up everybody, today I'm going to be covering a bit of a lesser known trick which is commonly referred to as repel manipulation, or simply the repel trick. The main advantage to using this trick is to increase your odds of rare encounters, which is useful for things such as thieving items, shiny hunting, nuzlocks, or even simply just saving some time. To use this trick, we first need to understand that repels will only prevent wild Pokemon from appearing who have a lower level than the first member of your party. Because of this game mechanic, we can purposely lead our party with Pokemon at a level of our choosing to alter an area's encounter table. To demonstrate this, I will be showing a gameplay example from Pokemon Fire Red's Power Plant, where I am hunting Magneton. I am specifically hunting Magneton because it is the only Pokemon which I can thieve a magnet held item from. In this area, Magneton only has a 10% chance of appearing, with a minimum level of 31 and a maximum level of 34. If you look closely at the encounter table for the Pokemon Fire Red Power Plant, you can see that the only other Pokemon that can appear at this level is Electabuzz. Therefore, if we lead our party with any Pokemon between the level of 28 and Magneton's minimum level of 31, we can guarantee we will only encounter Magneton and Electabuzz while using Repels. In this example, Pikachu, Voltorb, and Magnemite will no longer appear because they have a lower level than our lead Pokemon. To further our understanding, we can pretend that we are going to target the Electabuzz encounter instead of the Magneton. If we wanted to optimize Electabuzz encounters, we would lead the party with a Pokemon who is level 35. We would do this because the only Pokemon that spawns at level 35 is Electabuzz. Since Magneton can only appear with a maximum level of 34, a Repel will prevent Magneton and all the other possible encounters from appearing entirely. This boosts Electabuzz's rare 5% encounter rate to a guaranteed 100% chance of encountering. Something to keep in mind when performing this trick is that even though we are manipulating our encounters, it will still take the same amount of steps to encounter rare Pokemon. I went through about 5 or 6 max repels while trying to find a level 35 Electabuzz. Also, a nice tip is if you are looking for items such as the Magnet, you can lead your party with a Pokemon with the Compound Eyes ability to gain greatly increased odds of finding a held item. Now that we've gone through an example and have the understanding that repels work based on your lead Pokemon, you should have all the knowledge you need to pull off this trick yourself. Encounter tables can be found very easily with a quick internet search and should provide all the information you need for an area. If you have any trouble using this trick yourself, I will be happy to help in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and have yourself a fantastic day.